Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, Mathority here. Today we'll be breaking our brains with these truly profound results. What does it even mean to take i to the power of i, or the imaginary number, the square root of negative 1 to the power of itself, or take the ith root of i? Well, your guess is as good as mine, but they both produce real results. So let's see how we get them. Many of you are aware of Euler's identity, which is as follows, e to the i pi is equal to negative 1. However, this comes from Euler's formula, which is e to the i x is equal to cosine of x plus i times sine of x. And this formula is derived from a manipulation of the Taylor series for e to the x, cosine of x, and sine of x fairly easily, but we won't be covering that in this video. However, if we were to plug in negative pi over 2 for x, we would have the following e to the i times pi over 2 is equal to cosine of pi over 2 plus i times sine of pi over 2. Well, what is cosine of pi over 2? That is just 0, so this is equal to 0 plus i times sine of pi over 2. Well, sine of pi over 2 is 1. So this whole result here is just equal to i. Now what happens if we raise both sides to the power of i? We would get e to the i pi over 2 to the power of i equal to i to the i. Now we know from exponent rules that we multiply the exponents, and so we would get e to the i squared pi over 2 equal to i to the i. Well, what is i squared? i is the square root of negative 1, so i squared is just negative 1. Therefore, e to the negative pi over 2 is equal to i to the i. What an insane result. Now let's take a look at something else. What if we took the reciprocal of both sides? We would have 1 over e to the negative pi over 2 equal to 1 over i to the i. Now this is the same thing as e to the pi over 2 equal to i to the negative i. Well, what is negative i? Let's take a look at the following. So if we had i squared, that would just equal negative 1, because i is the square root of negative 1. And so we would have i times i equal to negative 1. Therefore, i is equal to negative 1 over i. And so that means negative i is equal to 1 over i, which is quite a profound result in and of itself because the reciprocal of i is equal to negative i. And so now we can plug this back in to our result here. And so we have e to the pi over 2 is equal to i to the power of 1 over i. Well, a power of 1 over i is just equal to the ith root. So we have e to the pi over 2 equal to the ith root of i. Now, these are some absolutely crazy results i to the power of i is equal to e to the negative pi over 2, and the ith root of i is equal to e to the positive pi over 2. Now it's hard to understand how this is the reality, but it is. The first time I ran into this was actually way back when, when I was in high school. I typed in i to the power of i into my TI-84 calculator, just out of curiosity to see what kind of error it would give me. But it actually gave the result of 0 0.2078, and I wondered, how on earth would this give me a real value? And again, your guess is as good as mine. But this is what Euler's formula proves to us. Anyways, with that, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please drop a like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.